Hello, Mercedes here. Welcome back. I speak for all the Clearwater Youth Librarians when I say we've really missed you. But luckily, summer reading will start back up on June 8th. We'll have online story times on your time, virtual quests, and take and make crafts to keep you reading and active during the summer. Hi everyone, I'm Cassidy and I am a youth librarian at the Clearwater Public Library. We are going to be working on virtual story times and take and make crafts for all of you, so stay tuned. My friend Fuzzy Bear and I are so excited to see you next time you're at the library. See you then. Hi, and welcome back. My name is Crystal, and I am your resident librarian and scientist, and I will be hosting virtual STEAM Lab all summer long with you. I'm looking forward to exploding things, creating slime, and even maybe introducing the occasional optical illusion. Join me and tune in for Virtual Steam Lab. See you then. Greetings. We have a summer full of fun virtual programs that you can participate in from your very own home, including fun virtual Lego challenges. Hi! Uh oh. Hi, it's Miss Michelle, and I can't wait to see all of you at the library when we check out materials here. But please remember, except for your family, please keep a distance from others, including all of us that work at the library. We will be wearing masks, however, we'll be smiling with our eyes. You can wave to us, and we'll wave to back to you. We wave hello like this, we wave hello like this. We clap our hands with all our friends. We wave hello like this. See you at the library. My name is Jen, and this summer I'll be curating your TBR team book boxes and telling you all some folklore from around the world. But for now, I'll show you some silly ways to open a door without using your hands. Let's go. With a foot. With a robot arm. With a friend. Get creative! Hi! Welcome to Seaside's Chats, Miss Amber! Thank you, Miss Julie! Is Hello, fellow Seasiders! We miss you! Oh. Hi, everyone! This is Miss Sarah at the Clearwater East Community Library. And I'm here today to explain just how long is six feet. You know we have to keep six feet of distance from each other for social distancing purposes. But how long is six feet? I have a yardstick here. A yardstick has one, two, three feet, but that's not enough. That's not six. So three plus three is six. And ta-da, look, all of a sudden it's six feet. Six feet of length. Well, that's about how long the submarine is. Someone should stay. Six feet away. Goodbye, everyone. It was great having you. And we look forward to having you for summer reading online at myclearwaterlibrary.com. So this summer, come and imagine your story with us.